And now, storm tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. Start off with a peek at the weekend tonight and tomorrow. We're in the green. Threat tracker has us dry. And then Saturday, we're in the yellow. That's a chance of a storm that will bring with it uh, some rain, at least the potential of some rain. Right now, a little bit of a storm approaching southern and southwestern Idaho. We call this a warm front. This warm front will spike our temperatures tomorrow by another 10 degrees. So that means a lot of us will see highs in the 60s. Unfortunately, the downside of this warm front, a bunch of wind tomorrow, especially in the Snake River Plain. Again, it's going to be an awfully bad hair day, so maximum hold hairspray, right? 46 for a current temperature in Idle Falls, Blackfoot at 45 degrees. Looks like the current temperature in Pocatello at 46, right at the freezing mark already in Island Park. Uh, way below that, though, in Yellowstone at 21 degrees. We're at 31 in Jackson, 31 for a current temperature in Montpelier, and we're still in the 40s in the Magic Valley. And the warmest temperature on this map Right now goes way up to Chalice. Hey, Chalice, you're warmer than the rest of us at 48. Of course, you're not going to stay that warm. Overnight, you're looking a low just above freezing. 27 will be the low in Dubois tonight. We'll stay above freezing for the most part in the Snake River Plain. So that's a little better than it was last night. If you remember last night, we were mainly in the 20s for a good portion of us. 31 for a low in Arco, and 29 will be the low temperature in Mackey. Now, tomorrow, Here's the payoff. Yeah, we'll be in the 60s, 10 degrees warmer or so, 62 at Pocatello. Just beautiful as far as the temperatures go. Of course, the farther away you get from the Snake River Plain, the colder it will be up in the higher elevations. Only 45 in Island Park, 46 in Driggs. But look at Rexburg at 57. Now here's the negative side of the forecast, if you will. We got a possibility of some winds tomorrow. We'll see gusts up to about 60 in some spots, up to 45 in some areas. So there you go. It's going to be a bad hair day for sure. Pocatello's seven day forecast. We're looking at 62 tomorrow. Enjoy. Probably won't feel like 62 with all the wind. We even have more wind going into Saturday with a chance of rain. Back in those 60s on Sunday. So it looks like Sunday will be the nicer of the two days this weekend. And then Monday, there's a chance of more rain. And then we won't see 60s again, at least not all falls until next Thursday. So enjoy Friday, Sunday, because in between could be a little bit cooler for sure. Rexburg seven day forecast, definitely a lot of wind tomorrow, 57. Chance of rain on Saturday, and then we have a chance of more rain on Monday. Teton area seven day forecast. There is rain and snow possible tomorrow with rain and snow likely Saturday. Definitely rain on Sunday, not a very Nice weekends, kind of stay inside, use the umbrella for the central mountains. If you're going to go outside, at least use the umbrella. I don't know if you need the umbrella inside, right? <laughs> we had a cloudy start the weekend in the central mountains on Saturday. Chance of rain on Sunday and then Monday, it's rain and snow. Could see more wet weather next Wednesday, but tomorrow that's 60. And then next week, that's 60. Those two 60s look great. It's just everything in between. Yeah.